Saudi Arabia has just revealed plans for an unprecedented mega project dubbed the Mirror Line. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman envisions the construction of two parallel skyscrapers, each soaring to a height of 500 meters, spanning an astounding 170 kilometers across mountains and desert terrain. To grasp the magnitude of this initiative, it is equivalent to erecting 2001 World Trade Centers side by side, effectively doubling the number of skyscrapers surpassing the 500 meter threshold globally. Given that a mere dozen skyscrapers globally have surpassed the 500 meter mark, the proposition to build 4,000 of these structures concurrently in one location seems implausible. This raises questions about the rationale behind Saudi Arabia's announcement. Is the Mir Line a genuine endeavor with the potential to come to fruition, or is it a strategic move to capture global attention? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. In 2016, the Kingdom introduced Vision 2030, an initiative aimed at diversifying the economy, reducing dependence on oil, and steering towards sectors such as tourism and technology. Subsequently, a comprehensive master plan named NEOM, signifying new future, was unveiled. NEOM envisions a cutting-edge smart city comprising three monumental megaprojects. The initial phase of this development is the Oxagon, an expansive, floating, eight-sided industrial complex designed to function as a pivotal port for shipping routes through the Red Sea. Furthermore, within the city, there is a notable all-season outdoor skiing destination known as Trojana, situated in the Arabian Peninsula, intended for year-round entertainment and events. However, none of these ventures match the grandiosity of the Mirror Line, announced in January 2021. Recent revelations about this figurative line surpass any prior expectations, and describing it as extraordinary would be an understatement. The Mir Line is comprised of twin 500-meter high structures, running parallel for a remarkable 170 kilometers across desert terrain. These mirrored exteriors, with just 200 meters of separation, will accommodate a city housing 9 million residents. Originating from the Gulf of Aqaba in the Red Sea, the linear city will traverse mountains and desert landscapes, connecting the two mirrored facades through walkways. The interiors will predominantly adopt a vertical design, with public parks, offices, and residences stacked on top of each other. Essentially, the plan involves vertically stacking the infrastructure of a conventional city. Moreover, their vision is to achieve 100 sustainability and incorporate cutting-edge technology. Residents will be sustained through vertical farming seamlessly integrated into the towering 500-meter high walls. Beyond that, the structure is intended to feature a marina for yachts and a sports stadium elevated up to 305 meters above ground level. Can the construction of the Mir Line become a reality, or is it an unattainable dream? Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has heralded it as a revolution civilization, but the project appears more like a colossal fantasy straight out of a fiction novel than a feasible endeavor. Saudi Arabia aims to actualize segments of the Mir Line by 2030, accommodating over a million residents. However, the ambitious timeline and the sheer magnitude of the project raise doubts about its feasibility. While humanity has successfully constructed massive structures in challenging landscapes, the Mirror Line seems to promise too much in too short a time frame. Saudi Arabia's recent history of building extraordinary skyscrapers, exemplified by the Stahl Jeddah Tower, intended to be the world's tallest building, cast further skepticism. The Jeddah Tower has only reached approximately one-third of its initially proposed height. On a contrasting note, Saudi Arabia boasts the fourth tallest skyscraper globally, yet the Mirror Line stands unparalleled in history, presenting a unique challenge. It draws parallels to the ambitious plans for the Illinois over 60 years ago, intended to be a mile high, a notion considered insane at the time. Similar to the Illinois, the Mirror Line may be confined to paper, or in this case, two 3 renderings and promotional videos. As the world observes, approximately 50 million people have already viewed one of the Mirror Line's trailers. Whether it materializes into a tangible marvel or remains a captivating concept captured in digital imagery remains uncertain, emphasizing the heightened global interest in this groundbreaking endeavor. Are there alternative motives behind Saudi Arabia's proposal of such an extraordinary project, knowing the challenges it may entail? Since Mohammed bin Salman assumed leadership, Saudi Arabia has been actively engaged in an image reformation. Initiatives like the Mirror Line are integral to this rebranding strategy, guaranteed to capture international attention. Saudi Arabia aims to present itself as a nation with diverse offerings, seeking to shift its economy towards tourism, a departure from the predominant purpose of pilgrimage for most visitors. With attention-grabbing declarations such as the Mirror Line, Saudi Arabia endeavors to reshape its perception on the global stage. 
The significance of the project extends to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman personally, who has likened it to some of the most significant megaprojects in the Middle East, deeming the mirror line as my pyramids. The Om is positioned to become Saudi Arabia's iconic architectural landmark, and the unveiling of an extraordinary project within it builds anticipation. Furthermore, according to the project's website, Neom is described as a vision of what a new future might look like. This suggests that the mirror line could serve as a research initiative exploring alternative city structures and modern transportation concepts, aligning with Saudi Arabia's aspiration for innovative urban development. Reaction to scrutiny. Following the revelation of the mirror line, Saudi Arabia has undeniably captured global attention. Nevertheless, the majority of responses have been less than favorable leaving numerous questions unanswered. While the ambition is to construct a city boasting a 100 sustainable transport system with zero emissions, critics have highlighted a critical omission, the substantial carbon footprint associated with building such a colossal structure. Estimates from Oldfield at the University of New South Wales suggest that the line's construction would result in emitting nearly 2 billion tons of CO2, surpassing the total CO2 emissions of the UK over four years. The commitment to creating a carbon-neutral city raises skepticism when confronted with these substantial construction-related emissions. Critics have also swiftly pointed to Saudi Arabia's human rights track record, prompting an examination of the potential human cost associated with the country's plans. In the region, there are indigenous tribes with a centuries-long history of residing in towns and villages, adding another layer to the scrutiny surrounding Saudi Arabia's ambitious undertaking. 